Let's get it started. Looking to edit 4K on any Mac? Well then stay tuned because this video is for you. What's up guys, my name is Matt Zeffi and welcome to the channel. Like I said in the intro today, I'm going to show you how to create proxies using Final Cut Pro. Now if you're watching this, you already know that Final Cut has many perks when you're using MacBooks and you will actually see some of these shine as I make these proxies. It's much faster to actually make the physical proxies and overall just Final Cut knows how to utilize every aspect of a Mac better. So without further ado, let's jump right in and get this party started. All right guys, so let's get started. This is gonna be fairly quick and I'm gonna show you a couple of the ways that you can go about making these proxies in Final Cut. Now open here in Final Cut, I have a small little project. It obviously isn't anything serious. I just pulled three drone clips that are in 4K that I want to use for this example. And for the sake of this video, I put a uh, you know subpar color correction on this footage. I'm not the best at color correcting using Final Cut tools, so um, you know, I just did the best I could in a short amount of time, and uh, it's just, it's decent, but it's really irrelevant to this video because I'm just going to show you how to make these proxies. So to get started, you're going to want to select any media that you have that is in 4K, and once you do that, you're going to want to right-click those files and then click Transcode Media. This prompt will show up, and then you're going to want to hit Create Proxy Media OK. But before I hit OK, I'm going to show you the second way that you could do it. Now for the second method, it sometimes does not let you generate the proxies altogether, but basically if you had your clip selected and you came to this inspector element, I believe it's called, this icon on the right side here, you'd be able to hit generate proxy and then you'll come up to the top left, you'll see it loading, just like so. But obviously that other method that I showed you seemed to be much faster. And then I'm just going to go ahead and generate the last one as well. And you could check the status of your proxies by just clicking them and going to this icon once again, scrolling down and seeing if the proxy is actually online. As you can see, it is online for that one and this one. And let's see about this last one. Yes, it looks like this was created. So I did notice an extreme difference in the amount of time it took to make these proxies in comparison to media encoder so that's actually one of those big advantages that you always hear about with final cut and how it optimizes the full specifications of your macbook computer or whatever kind of apple products you have now to actually be viewing these proxies as you're previewing your footage or whatever you're doing in your timeline you're going to want to come up to view on the top right of the window and then come down to proxy right under media and then once you do that, you will be looking at your proxy files instead of your 4K footage. And because of this, your footage will play in your timeline much smoother and you'll get a much better experience while using Final Cut. All right, so that's about it on how you can make proxies in Final Cut Pro. I do believe that one of the limitations is that you can't make different kinds of proxies, but as I said, Previously, Final Cut is able to really utilize your entire Mac and its performance speeds, so I'm not really sure you're even going to need that. Overall, Final Cut seems to be a much easier solution when making proxies. Uh, there's a kind of a multi-step process when doing this in Adobe Premiere Pro, and while there is multiple ways you could do this in Final Cut, Adobe Premiere Pro seems to be a little bit more excessive, and the fact that you have to jump into Adobe Media Encoder is just an extra step that they should circumvent in my opinion. That's about it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you got anything out of this video, make sure to like and subscribe. I will be posting tutorials, vlogs, all kinds of things in the upcoming weeks, so make sure to turn those notifications on. I would really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching, and take care. Hey, baby. Why won't you come over, maybe? Cause I... Thinking about you lately